The crankshaft position sensor measures rotation speed RPMs and the precise position of the engine crankshaft. Without a crankshaft position sensor, the engine wouldn't start. How the crankshaft position sensor works? The crankshaft position sensor is positioned so that the teeth on the relictor ring attached to the crankshaft pass close to the sensor tip. The relictor ring has one or more teeth missing to provide the engine computer, a PCM, with a reference point to the crankshaft position. In this GM engine, the crankshaft position sensor is installed at the cylinder block. As the crankshaft rotates, the sensor produces a pulsed voltage signal, where each pulse corresponds to the tooth on the locked ring. As you can see the, in this photo, the actual signal from the crankshaft position sensor with the engine idling. In this vehicle, the relictor ring is made with two missing teeth, as you can notice on the graph. The PCM uses the signal from the crankshaft position sensor to determine at what time to produce the spark and in which cylinder. The signal from the crankshaft position is also used to monitor if any of the cylinder misfires. If the signal from the sensor is missing, there will be no spark and fuel injectors won't operate. The two most common types are the magnetic sensor with a pick-up coil that produces AC voltage and the Hall effect sensor that produces a digital square wave signals as in this photo. Modern cars use the Hall effect sensors. A pick-up coil type sensor has a two-pin connector. The Hall effect sensors has a three-pin connectors. Symptoms of a failing crankshaft sensor A failing sensor can cause intermittent problems. A car may cut out or stall randomly, but then restart with no problems. The engine might have trouble starting in wet weather, but starts okay after. So sometimes you might see the RPM gouge behaving erratically. In some cases, a failing sensor can cause long crank time before the engine starts. If the sensor is bad, the engine will crank but won't start. The most common OBD2 code related to the crankshaft position sensor is P0335, crankshaft position sensor A circuit. In some cases, for example in Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, Chevy, Hyundai, Kia, this code is often caused by a failed sensor itself, although there could be other reasons such as wiring or connector usages, damaged relictor, ring, and etc. In some cars, the intermittent stalling can also be caused by a problem with the crankshaft position sensor wiring. For example, if the sensor wires are not secured properly, they could rub against some metal part and short out, which can cause intermittent stalling. The Chrysler Bulletin describes a problem with some 2005 and 2007 Jeep and Chrysler models where a filed crankshaft position sensor can cause a no-start problem. The sensor will need to be replaced with an update part to correct problem. How the crankshaft position sensor is tested, whether there is a suspicion that the problem might be caused by a crankshaft position sensor or if there is related trouble caught, the sensor must visually inspect it for cracks, loose or corroded connector pins or other obvious damage. The proper gap between the tip of the sensor and the relactor ring is also very important. The correct testing pre tools can be found in service manual and uh, in this lecture's um, download, downloadable page. Uh, I attached some of, the, some of the articles for testing your crankshaft position sensor. And the crankshaft sensor replacement. Replacing a crankshaft position sensor is not very expensive, so the part costs from $35 to 
plus 55 or 130 to the labor. It's best to use OEM part, so in most case, cars it's fairly easy to replace, although sometimes the sensor could be difficult to remove due to the corrosion. Uh, there are YouTube videos and other things uh, that you can search uh, according to your engine and uh, car model. So when replacing a crankshaft position sensor, it's important to verify that proper gap between the sensor and relaxed ring thief. Uh, 